Uh, well, I have four siblings, and at one point all five of us were in one bedroom. So I think, although I have the typical not so great social skills of most academics, I did learn how to survive with other people pretty early on. Uh, and I'm fortunate that my father had to really sacrifice to get an education. Uh, he was a first generation, went to college, went to med school, worked his way through both, flunked one semester because his jobs were taking up too much of his time, and met my mother because she was one of his teachers. So education was always the priority in my family which was kind of a consolation when you go to school and you're a geek and maybe people are making fun of you a little bit, but when you come home, you know that the most important thing is, are you doing your best work in school? So that was our job. We weren't allowed to work outside of uh, our studies, except for summer. And, uh, and so it was very supportive for somebody like me who was always drawn to learning. I'm the only person who's a practicing religious person in my family. And from a very early age, I was really drawn to the Catholic Church, which is the religious tradition of my mother and her family. Her parents came from Sicily. Don't be afraid. Um, and, uh, but I went to church alone from the time I was six and seven. It was a few blocks away, and I would just walk over there. And when I stayed with my grandparents, I'd go with them. Um, but we never really understood why that was. Uh, my father was a psychiatrist who thought religion was a crutch, was not supportive of it. So I actually am probably the only teenager, at least that I've heard of, maybe there are others, and I'll get an email from them after this, who would sneak out of the house as a teenager to go to church. Because um, I didn't want my dad to start bringing up, now really, why do you believe in all this? So we wonder whether uh, I was born deaf, and my sainted Italian grandmother, I know, my sainted Italian grandmother said a novena. I got my hearing back. And so the family mythology is that she made a deal with God. You give her her hearing, I'll make sure she's a Catholic. And I'm still there today. So I went to Wesleyan University in Connecticut. And uh, then I came back to Buffalo after that to, I was thinking I wanted to teach high school. That was my, my goal at that point. So I came back, um, and I was also trying some other things. So I worked at a bakery, thinking maybe culinary school. Um, but I also volunteered in the local high school where I had gone, was trained in the great books program, worked in an elementary school, took a class here and there, uh, and ended up starting my teaching career in an independent school, an independent high school in Richmond, Virginia, teaching English. And eventually, that was an Episcopalian school, and they weren't sure they wanted a Catholic teaching religion. Eventually, I started teaching religion also, which was my undergraduate degree. And then I thought, this seems like a fit. I think teaching is what I want to do. So I went and got a master's in education at Harvard, and uh, then was hired by the school where I had done my student teaching, uh, and had all kinds of adventures in the high school classroom in New Massachusetts. Um, probably sent a few more students to the principal's office than a really competent high school teacher would do. Uh, and, but I also was surrounded by a lot of graduate students at Harvard. And so I realized that every time I assigned a paper, I really wanted to be writing it. And I thought, maybe the school bug and the student side isn't done for me yet. So, uh, so my GRE scores were about to expire, and I figured I didn't want to go through that again. So I went ahead and applied to graduate school, but I thought that I would probably still teach high school. Uh, but I wanted to get the PhD for myself and to learn. So I initially applied in, uh, I was writing my applications to go to graduate school in English, wrote my essays about how I wanted to study critical theory, I was fascinated by Derrida and so on, and uh, I couldn't sleep. And I realized I still wanted to study religion. As impractical as that seemed and as distant as that was from my family experience, that that was still where I was. So I very quickly did a lot of research, found some programs in religion and literature, and ended up getting accepted to University of Chicago, and that's where I did another master's, and finally graduated in 28th grade. 